Look around you. You see mega constructions. But not every finished product resulted from a perfect design. Failure has always been there, and sometimes engineers have changed the whole design while halfway through construction. Top 10 World is here with another video on the most shocking engineering failures, which would make you say out loud, they spent millions on this. At first, we have the most shocking design for you. Have you ever experienced a plane coming towards you while you're on a train? That sounds like some horror movie scene, but here we're talking about reality. New Zealand is one of the world's smaller countries, and Gisborne Airport in New Zealand's Elgin suburb can clearly prove that. This airport is built with a railway line running straight through the middle of it. Yeah, you heard that right. The trains run right across the airport's main runway, which sounds like a recipe for disaster. But surprisingly, there's never been a major accident. The small white planes are used for internal flights or flights to Australia. Let's hope that these planes cross by the tracks without hitting any trains. Next up, we have a building which is going to make you laugh by the number of mistakes in its design. London is really a place of mind-boggling architecture that would make you just say, wow, unless you come across the building nicknamed Walkie Talkie because of the distinctive shape. Situated on Fenchurch Street, this was voted as the worst building in the United Kingdom in 2015. The building is linked with many accidents as the glass frontage on the structure reflects the sun with such intensity on summer days that it set a carpet on a neighboring building on fire in 2013. Sounds shocking, right? Not just this, it was followed up by melting the roof of a luxury car parked on the street below it. It damaged this car parked nearby. It's caused carpets to smolder. It's so hot you can even fry an egg. Man, who designed this building? During high winds, the curved exterior of the tower creates a wind tunnel strong enough to knock pedestrians over. But even after all of that, it's still standing and, well, let's just move on to the next one. If you aren't surprised by the architecture failures, then get ready to say, spent million dollars for this? Normally barriers are there when a new railway crossing is built to alert the other traffic, but imagine no barriers or light. It's unthinkable that anyone would ever create such a thing, but you have in Baku, the capital city of Azerbaijan. Look at the full-size trains emerging without warning from the side of this busy highway and very nearly colliding with cars in the process of doing so. The footage prompted shock all around the world when it went viral in 2016, prompting the authorities in Baku to think about their transport logistics again and remove the railroad. The area is safer now, but it's beyond belief that anyone ever thought that this was okay. If you think that this was stupid, we warn you for the next one, as it's really going to leave you questioning the engineers who were behind its design. Architects are expected to be sensible for taking precautions when designing unique structures, but a higher level of sensibility and professionalism is expected when they work on a project related to children. But sometimes even their master plans fail for a single blunder where they didn't put much thought. Back in the year 2010, a playground in the Brooklyn area of New York, USA just scared the parents of children. No, there were no ghosts there. There was something else. The parents were furious about a new playground installed at Brooklyn Bridge Park with its shiny chrome design. Yeah, it seems futuristic and stylish, but just look carefully. The designer team forgot that steel gets very hot when the sun's out common sense. At the warmest times of the day, the domes become so hot that any child who came in contact with one would very likely receive burns. While the local authorities decided to solve the problem by planting trees close to the domes to provide shelter, but even now, 10 years later, it's said that the trees don't completely solve the problem. How silly! Let's show you another example and you'd be amazed why they spent dollars for the design. Venice is one of the most popular vacation destinations in all of Italy so any structure needs to be strong enough to cope with lots of people attempting to walk over it. But Santiago Calatrava somehow failed to do so. He designed and built a glass bridge in 2008, and as expected from a failed design, tourists were injured crossing his slippery, unstable bridge, resulting in him getting fined more than $150,000. Even the architect informed authorities that the glass steps on his bridge would need to be replaced once every 20 years but just four years after it opened, 
eight of them had to be replaced. Whenever it rains, the glass becomes impossible to step on. Aesthetically pleasing from distance, but dangerous when stepped on. Everyone would think twice about crossing it, but the good news is it's safer today than it was 12 years ago. Now, let's leave ground for a while and talk about space. Obviously, there's no chance for engineers to make any mistake there, but here we are with another failure. Mars has always been an attractive place for experts as this is regarded as one of the planets that has the highest chance of one day being able to support a human colony. Over the past few decades, a large number of probes and landers have been sent to the red planet. We have ignition and we have liftoff of NASA's Mars Climate Orbiter as we continue to explore the mysteries of the red planet. And even if everything goes right, it's an astonishing achievement to reach the target. But there was one attempt, however, that failed, not because of an unfortunate event, but it was doomed to failure right from the beginning. Back in December of 1998, a probe called the Mars Climate Orbiter was launched on a mission to be inserted into the Martian orbit and study the planet's climate, atmosphere, and surface changes, as well as acting as a communications relay station for landers on the surface. Initially, the plan was right on, but almost a year later, when the orbital insertion maneuvers began in September of 1999, everything went silent. The probe went behind Mars 49 seconds earlier than expected and never re-established contact. What was the reason? Did it burn up in Mars' atmosphere or just explode? Nothing was known. But in the following investigation, NASA scientists found out the reason, or what we call an embarrassing mistake that wasted millions. The two teams involved in building the probe were one at NASA and the other at Lockheed Martin. The engineers at Lockheed Martin were making calculations in pounds and feet, while those at NASA were using kilograms and meters. You guessed the blunder. Yeah, without accounting any of these differences, the measurements of the impulse produced when the thrusters fired was wrong by a factor of 4.4, meaning the $327 million project was never going to succeed. Leaving us all questioning, why did they spend a million dollars for this? Well, that's it for today's video. Just like you, we also said they spent millions for this. Which design shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments down below. If you happen to like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and press that notification bell icon and you'll be notified when a new video comes out. We'll see you in our next video.